Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Doesn't this look familiar? Doesn't this look familiar? Yeah, it's the stairwell from the game's intro. And there's a little pot to get up here a little bit quicker. Yep, from that one back at Grunty's Furnace Fun. And there's also a useless one up over here. <laughs> if you didn't see on our way up. Nothing in that window though. Alright. 810 notes, which means you absolutely have to fin it. I mean, you have to visit each and every world in order to get up here. So, yeah, because, you know, only 100 notes per door. I mean, 100 notes per world. Ah, I can't talk. <laughs> Too excited. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. 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 How many jiggies though? How many jiggies? Well, before I do that, let's take a little peek -see over here at... Yep, it's the transformation room from the game over screen! <laughs> there really isn't anything over here in general, just something to look around and I guess you can get a honeycomb from that baddie there, so, <laughs> so I guess that's technically something. And yeah, it's mainly just detailing and whatnot, so here we go. Does that flicker? Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's put them in one at a time to build that suspense one last time! Oh man, I'm pretty sure you can tell whose picture it's making! Yeah, especially with that couple last piece. Yeah, that <laughs> Come on, we can do this! You can make it through it! You can make it through it all! You can wait it out! Oh man, there's only a couple pieces left! We can do it all! So many pieces! 25 in total! I hope you got your jiggies! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it really is flickering, that's weird. <laughs> no, you aren't safe. <laughs> And that's a weird emulation graphical glitch. So you have Ding Pot hanging out there. You've also got a couple of note doors going on here, which contains large versions of, well, our items, which completely fills them up when you grab them. Heck yeah! <laughs> Here's a blue egg, and of course, you might have guessed there is a red one as well. Well, not a red egg, a red feather. Uh, here it is. There's also one more door for the ultra super mega collectors of the game. Right over... here we go. 882. Notes? Yeah, it takes a lot to get in here, but believe me, it is worth it. We got this very special jigsaw picture frame that is coated with honey. And what could that mean? What could that mean? Hmm, it looks like a honeycomb picture. Mmm! <laughs> what did we do there? Well, we just doubled our health. Yeah! That's definitely worth it. <laughs> and as you see, we have two jiggies left over. They're not used for anything else. They're just extra jiggies, I guess. Sorta, of, kinda. <laughs> But not extra if you're going for 100%. Huh? Um, well... Um... Hmm... I think we do... <laughs> we do kinda have to go in there, though. Um, oh... <laughs> Just give him a mint and jump in there, I guess. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm sure her most faithful pot does. Oh! Oh! So, I guess he's not the most faithful pot in the world, huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, poor Ding Pot, the underwear. Anything but the underwear. <laughs> so I guess I got. Yep, gotta jump on in, unfortunately. Oh, well. <laughs> Dung balls. <laughs> well. Yeah, that's pretty tempting, really. <laughs> oh, this is. Oh, that's, uh. 
more that's regular random dialogue. Anyway, let's go in. Oh man. We can shower later. <laughs> this is it, the final boss battle on top! Woo! Are you excited? You should be! Let's see how much I remember about this battle. <laughs> Alright, bring it on, Gruntilda! Finally, after climbing your tower for such a long time. So she's gonna do this dive attack thing. And it's easier to avoid it when you can actually see where she's coming from. So <laughs> flip the camera around wherever she is, and yeah. And then she kind of runs out of juice. <laughs> and you had to peck her butts. There we go. <laughs> that was a uh, fireball. She aims where you're going and not where you are, just like the snowman. So beware of those. Hopefully you've gotten practice from the snowman good enough to be able to, oops to be able to defeat Gruntilda. <laughs> and of course she is going to be taunting us all the way through as per tradition of Gruntilda throughout the entire tower. And I think this is gonna be the last one they're gonna have to peck her butt. And there we go! Yeah! Aha! Oh no, wait, is there more? Is there more? No, oh, I guess there is. I thought she changes phase after three. That's okay. I can deal with this again. It's no problem. As long as I don't accidentally run into her while just trying to do a rat attack rap, of course. <laughs> that broomstick is something else, too. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Not the spell. That's homing. So use a blocker. <laughs> Yep, you cannot dodge that, so you gotta use the Wonder Wing to actually block it. Uh, I guess I'll grab that Honeycomb, actually, because I took a little damage. But yeah, most of the time you want to leave the Honeycombs unless you're taking damage and and whatnot. So, uh, as you can tell after this, she's gonna have a pause. Notice that pause? Well, that pause is pretty important, because that pause gives you a chance to attack her. And by attack her, I mean use eggs. <laughs> Go off here, attack! Attacked! <laughs> so yeah, I gotta wait for that pause in order to have the best opportunity to attack her. Because those shots get faster and faster, and oh, this one's easy to dodge up on top of because it's wider. Oh shoot! <laughs> she noticed I was going there, that's why she shot over there. Oh, gonna get ya! Gonna get ya! Gonna get ya! Oh shoot! <laughs> okay, I gotcha, yeah! <laughs> Next one! You don't stand the chance, Gruntilda! I've had... 900 notes and 90 jiggies worth of practice. Ah! See, that's what happens if you try and do that when she's when she's firing. <laughs> eh, I'm not too worried about damage or anything like that, so I can take risks. I mean, I got double health. Dang it! <laughs> Seriously, I'm practically invincible. Although if you fall off, it's one hit kill. So maybe I should be a little bit more careful. <laughs> as long as my back isn't turned to the. Uh, the edge of the world, I'll, I'll I'll actually be bumped off of the e uh, edge back on top of the tower, so it's not that big of a worry or anything like that. Alright, here you go, it's three... Oh no, I thought you were doing three shots there. <laughs> That's okay. I can still wipe you out. Oh no, homing attack! Woo! <laughs> oh no, oh no, take it to the air, what can we do about that? All right, I might as well grab that too. <laughs> Woo! I think you know what we need to do. Oh yes, and this is actually a pretty risky maneuver too, because if you should whack your face in the ground while you're in midair here and you fly off the edge, you can be knocked out of flying position, and then uh, yeah, you'll fall to your death. So be careful with your beak bombs here. Ah! <laughs> I like to do it and I'm right up next to her, if at all possible. And she does get a little bit faster, as she implied there. And it's okay. It's okay. Woo! No, poopers. That was a little too low. A little too risky. But we're okay. We're okay. One hit death doesn't scare me. Well, okay, maybe it does a little, but still. Yeah! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta wait until she pauses too, I would say. It makes it a little bit easier. Ah, so hard to maim that attack. <laughs> By the way, there's refill eggs and uh, feathers along the... Whoops! Ah, I got a little too close. <laughs> oh, they can fly. 
with the help of a Briegel. Ah, oh, I couldn't time it well. <laughs> By the way, this battle is strangely epic for ah, <laughs> strangely epic for a game such as this. <laughs> there we go. Come on, a couple more hits. We've got this. Oh yeah, she doesn't stand the chance. Come on, Kong Kong, get in good position. Ah, poopers. <laughs> Her movements make it hard to aim. It isn't like a snowman. <laughs> uh, get up. Wait, this looks good? Yes! Gotta look at all the angles, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. By the way, that pad will stay until this phase is over, so you don't have to worry about the dealio here. All right. You know, you don't have to worry about running out of time or anything like that. Oh, no. Not the shield! Not the shield! What are we gonna do about a shield now? Well, we gotta sort of kind of wait it out, so let's just hang out on the ground here for now. Grab our honeycombs that we got accumulating. Well, just that one accumulating. Oh no! Oh no! The Jinjos, they have come to help! Now she's in trouble! <laughs> so we gotta shoot eggs into there while dodging the spells. Yeah, there we go. How many eggs I forgot? Oh, okay, there we go. We can do it. Fire! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it gets more and oh, more and more ridiculous. I thought I could jump to avoid that, but I guess not. Oh boy. Oh boy. Careful, careful, careful. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. There we go. Get out of the way. <laughs> Let's see the animation from our own angle, just for kicks! Yeah, baby! Feel the pain! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Got two more to do! Woo! Ah, boobers! I should not try to be that risky in my movements! But I got double health, so who cares, I guess? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I missed! Oh shoot, that's... Yeah, why did I try and do another round there? Ah, whatever, it's fine! <laughs> Animation, go! Jinjo, it up! Yeah, feel the pain! <laughs> One more, here we go. Oh no, oh no, I'm going towards the inside. No, you don't. Oh yes, there we go, that was perfect. That's what you should be doing there. Woo! <laughs> Alright, that was the last, so this phase is over! Yeah! Haha! -ha! The broomstick is gone! <laughs> but the shield is not! So we still gotta do something else. It's still not over. And now she's going like crazy with her shots! Oh, the homing shot! <laughs> yeah, that homing shot you really gotta watch out for. The loud big gingernator! <laughs> There's four things to shoot in, so be careful here. It's stop! Ah, it's the last Jinjo up here. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on! Oh no! Oh no! You ah! She's bombarding me with all sorts of junk. Ah. You stinker! Get those eggs in there and fill it up. Fill it up. <laughs> yeah, at least see, I'm being a little more aggressive than I should be eh, in my movements. Oh shoot! The attack! <laughs> Yeah, there we go! Fill up all the holes until the hatch appears! Oh shoot! Yeah, wait, wait, oh, wait for the homing attack, that's your best bet, really! <laughs> Come on, relax, there we go! Woo! And... Obviously, if you need gold feathers, go around the edges! Whoa! <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna dodge that one based on my movements! Come on, come on, come on, we can do this! It's one more to do! Yeah. Can't really see the hole on this song because it's so burnt or whatever. <laughs> and there we go! There we go! Woo! With the power of Jinjos! The ultimate Jinjo <laughs> The ultimate Jinjo has awakened! Take her out! Do it! Do it! No wonder she locked up the Jinjo. She was scared of their power. Yes! Feel the pain! <laughs> 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 
Go! Keep attacking! Yes! <laughs> First person of Grunties. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's building up power! <laughs> oh, that spell's not gonna get you anywhere! Well, actually, what a f um, if this game would have been totally finished, let's put it that way. Um, there's a little thing about that spell that it was actually supposed to hit Banjo and Kazooie, but due to time constraints and whatnot, they couldn't really do so. And it was supposed to change Banjo into a frog, and then 2D was supposed to go on and get stuff in each world to fix up uh, Banjo and Kazooie and whatnot. But it never happened. <laughs> Instead, we get this, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Which is, well, I mean, we'd still get this, really, even if we had the other ending. Well, Guntilda is officially defeated by the Jinjonator, Banjo-Kazooie, the Jinjos, and a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah, we can now officially celebrate. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's going on over there? Someone's up a tree! <laughs> now you know they made a watermelon joke with what she's carrying there. You know! Especially after the nut joke. <laughs> ah, good times. Good times. The game is over. Yes. Heck yeah. Just relax. Whew, well, we got the sunblock though. It's kind of kind of toasty here. Don't want to get a burn. We got enough burns from Guntilda. <laughs> I guess Kazooie got a little respect for bottles by the end. Just a little. Not much, though. <laughs> and now we got a little enemy compilation type thing, I guess you could say. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yes, the game is... Eh, well, not actually over. I guess I'll say it now. <laughs> there's some secrets and stuff like that that happen as you unlock worlds. And there's also some cheat codes that I haven't yet covered at that uh, Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle. Um, if you use two or more of the... well, I should say besides some special unlocking cheats for different parts of worlds, uh, you'll actually delete your save file, so I wouldn't recommend using a lot of the codes that I'm gonna show ya, but I'll, I will absolutely uh, recommend that you do the, what they call, stop and swap codes, all seven of them. Let's just say that, just for the sake of completion, but uh, I'll leave it at that for now. I'm not gonna, not gonna spoil things and whatnot because, well, you'll see what I mean by stop and swap. <clears throat> I'll explain the whole stop and swap thing when we get into that. And there's also a whole other mini game back at Banjo's house that's really well hidden, and you would never really have thought to look at the specific spot to start this minigame, but yes, it is a thing that I'll be covering. And there's a thing for every world at Banjo's house as well. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> probably probably it'll take a couple more parts to do all this, like three or four. Not too sure, we'll see how quickly I get things done, I guess. And this is basically where I got all the enemies' names from and whatnot. Ah, uh, yes, Snacker, somehow managing to survive in oil. Then again, the, the dolphin still managed to do so, too. <laughs> and come to think of it, Gloop here, you know, the, the water was pretty polluted back at Cl Clanker's Cavern, too, so it was like, not really that many things had issues with the polluted water. <laughs> so maybe it's not really that much of a pollution after all. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Ah, uh, Whiplash, I still don't know what the heck you are, but you're something, I know that, and you whip, that is all I know. 
I, just, I, I don't know, it's like some sort of mucus membrane or something, I don't know. <laughs> nah, it couldn't be a mucus membrane, those are more like under skin and whatever, they're just like a fungus that's growing and it's sentient and whipping around, you come close and... Yeah. <clears throat> ah, I'm talking so much. And my allergies, they be mucusy. <laughs> Not healthy things. So we're finally getting the names of the kids. <laughs> finally, finally. But they weren't a part of any quiz questions in Gruntilda's quiz type thing anyway, so it's okay if it came up later. At least I don't remember them being a part of any of Gruntilda's quiz questions at uh, Grunty's Furnace Fun. But, uh, well, maybe we'll never know. <laughs> nah, you can always check that uh, wiki link thing that I put in the description of the last video because there's a lot of questions to go through other than that. But there's also some funny dialogue to read up on there too. So, yeah. <laughs> But I don't remember anything about Boggy's kids being in the uh, <laughs> being in the uh, quiz questions. I'm talking about this way too long though, so let's continue on the world chatter here. There's of course gotta be the trunker tree because you know, you know it's kind of a famous little enemy there, or not enemy, a uh, famous critter there. And is there a graphical glitch going on there? <laughs> I think there was. So that is okay. Grab on Slappa, not to be confused. Hmm, maybe there won't be a reintroduction to Trunker. Hmm, I thought there was, uh, well, they could definitely go through all the stuff. Uh, interestingly though, they don't have Nabnut's girlfriend in this for some reason. I don't know why. You know, the the girlfriend that he was sleeping with at the, at the end of Click Clockwood in, in the wintertime area. They have everything else but her. I don't understand why that is. I mean, they named everything but her, so... I don't know if she has a name or not offhand. <laughs> but maybe, maybe one day her name will be revealed by Rare themselves or something. Or maybe she'll be forever known as Nabnut's girlfriend, generically. <laughs> Bats are a cute critter, I gotta say. I mean, it's got angry eyebrows, but nah, they're still cute. <laughs> By the way, Boombox, they just explode on their own if you let them chase you for long enough. I forgot, forgot to mention that earlier. But, uh, you know, I think I mentioned the egg thing that you can shoot them with eggs, though. Uh, but otherwise, I just prefer using the Wonder Wing on the Boomboxes because it's just so much faster and easier. Uh, unless I'm trying to conserve feathers, but it's not really that necessary in. World 8, like it is in World 9, where there's all those snare bears and whatnot. So, yeah. <clears throat> I guess this is more of an enemy compilation more than anything. Uh, but still, there weren't really any enemies. I mean, they weren't all enemies, excuse me, like Tip Top wasn't the enemy or anything like that. So, I guess uh, the tree's introduction was already done in the fake credits. <laughs> And now we're getting the sorta of, kinda real credits here of, well, enemies. <laughs> but there's more to come. Always more to come after credits in games nowadays, I swear. <laughs> I shouldn't say nowadays, there's even post-game credits and whatnot after that. Ah, oh, we're back! We're back. <laughs> so... Can I have some of those melons? They look juicy and sweets. Ah, well, mm, no. Oh, wait, there's Mumble back there. Let's pay attention to Mumble instead. <laughs> oh, secret pictures. Let's see. I like secret pictures. Why were they up a tree anyway? Missed what? What is cr what? Next game. Here's a sequel. What? What the heck? <laughs> Well, at the time, they didn't, you know, people playing the game didn't really expect there to be a sequel, but there, they had it in the works, and they made clear of it right here. Yes, I got all of them. If you don't get them all, you can't see these pictures. Oh, and yeah, it's 100 jigsaws, not 90, like I said earlier. I thought 90, because, you know, 90 in each world, but then there's 10 in Gruntilda's lair. So, what did we miss? 
What are the things we missed? I'm pretty sure you know some of the things that we missed. Probably. <clears throat> Maybe. Might be. Let's just put it that way. So let's see. <laughs> well, I guess they're gonna have to see. They're gonna have to see. Actually, if you played the sequel, you know that. <laughs> Alright, show the pictures already! Dang it, stop! Stop teasing, Mumbo! Okay, here's the pictures. That was a odd transition screen, and we got <laughs> got odd graphical glitch from the emulator, but it's working perfectly fine in order for you to tell what's going on. <clears throat> even though we got some graphical glitches, even in the door, that is lovely. Ah, uh, emulation, never quite like the real deal. Always play the real deal if you can. So yeah, this is a place in World Two. And this is something that we can actually do post-game. Well, actually, we can do the before post-game. But, uh, yes, it's got these sorts of window jumps that I like so much. Because it's a risk-reward type thing, climbing up those things. It's a precision thing. And, yes, <clears throat> let's just keep watching, and eventually we'll get to the top. Eventually. Flap, flip. And look at that. It's a pink egg. What is this? Mmm. 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 And here's Waza's cave. Complete with more graphical glitches. Heck yeah! Because <laughs> they do it square by square, like the jigsaw puzzles. In a way, like you can tell on the graphics of the jigsaw puzzles. <clears throat> so, hey, what the heck? This window's open! The window to the ice key is open! What the? And so many graphical glitches. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Kazooie in her language. So let's see, in the desert, Gobi's Valley. This door is open, that's where you found Gobi the second time. Hmm. What? are those eggs for you stinker and look at that graphical glitch beauty <laughs> emulation oh okay <laughs> well you got to see it in its mostly entirety <laughs> so we won't be able to find out until banjo tooie only the eggs and key never really actually happened in Banjo Tooie because, well, well, at least not in the form that they were supposed to be in. But I'll get into that when we go into collecting those eggs and keys in another part. Yes, you could, they are actually indeed collectible in this game, and they weren't known to be collectible for the longest time. Uh, <clears throat> until the codes were revealed uh, at the treasure trove code that you can use them at. So yeah, for the sake of 100%, we gotta get those eggs and keys. And there's more eggs and keys than uh, were implied by those pictures, let's just put it that way. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.